Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. Welcome. It's Sunday, and it is thundering out. Mm -hmm. We're about to get, it's about to get real on the uh, Northeast Coast. I know. You know, they said it was supposed to start at 3 o'clock, so we left the water park at 2 just to be safe. But now it's starting a little bit later, so I'm glad we're home. Hopefully everyone's home and cozied up and safe and sound. Cool. But um, I'm Dana. And I'm Heather. And we're so full so on the go. go. All right. And it's Sunday. How was your weekend? It was uneventful that could be good yeah it was nice actually we went to we just had a birthday party yesterday and then um today we were i was like in my robe forever and just working and just i don't know nothing it's great nothing boring sorry wow are you kidding amazing i um Sometimes days like that where it's kind of low key and you almost feel like you should be doing something or like you should be out and about are actually the best. And you just need them every once in a while. I just didn't want to be. Um, where I going? I'm trying to pull some stuff here. So hi, everybody for tuning in. We have two viewers, one comment. I'm trying to pull up. I haven't seen anybody's stuff. I know we're kind of like moving slow. Anyway, so hi, is everybody there? Tell us you're, you're there. Say hi. It's Sunday. We're like moving kind of slow. Actually, my husband was out of town. He just got back. The house was all straightened. Now it's a disaster. Yes. Oh. Guess what I get to do tomorrow? Anyways, um, clean again. Yeah, I think I swept my floor five times today. I was like, I don't understand why I keep walking on grit in the oh. kitchen. And isn't it so annoying when it gets under your feet and you're like, yeah. I was like, does, anybody, does that happen to anyone? Oh my God. I was like going crazy. Yeah. No, that's frustrating. I, I feel, I feel your gritty pain. <laughs> I feel your grit. I know I'm avoid. I'm avoiding laundry today, but I have to do it tomorrow. Um, I did the load, but I did, it didn't make it folded. <laughs> it's almost there. I know. All right, I'm checking to see I can hear. Uh, Eric is here. Yay! I'm listening on our other thing to see if um. There's <laughs> echoing. If it's yeah. echoing. I did bring my earbuds just in case. All right, let us know if we're echoing a little bit. I yes. can hear myself on the other end, but um, a little bit. So okay. Anyway, so how is everybody? We're here tonight to talk about um, hacks. Yes. Hacks on a road trip. Um, so if you've got special tips that, for road trips, let us know that you use because we probably all could use the help to share. Definitely. I think so. Erica's so funny. She's like, oh, we are, Erica, we are echoing. We are. Yeah. And she said if they, she thinks if we get two laundry rooms, we could get it done. Let me see where I can plug in my um, fancy schmancy earbuds. I think over here. Let me see if that'll help. Hold on. I'm going down below. Yeah, so um, I know. I don't know why we echo. We tried we tried it from my end today. I think it's just BeLive. That's who we use, BeLive Productions. Darn it. Um, yes. Okay, so it's not going to work. It's not going to work? No, because I put my earphones in and I couldn't hear you. <laughs> ah. Is it really echoing still? No, I don't hear me now. You know what it is? Don't click your computer. Let's see what happens. Okay. Because I feel I like when you were typing, that's when the echoing started. Okay. Um, I'm not going to touch it at all. Back. I can hear it. Ooh. I know. I don't know what's up with that. You know what? I think it's time for me to break down and get that cute little raspberry microphone that I wanted to get. Oh, she said it's good now. Okay. Oh, we're good. Yes. So Erica um, was who I went to Rapids with. With the boys. Oh, and we had such a nice time. Park. Yes, we were there and it wasn't crowded. It was really nice because everyone was afraid of the rain that's coming now. Ah, okay. I see. Yes, we had, we had such a good time. 
Erica, you have to share your hacks. Yes. Uh, for on the road trips with your family. That's what we're talking about tonight. If you're tuning in. Mm -hmm. Um, and we want to know if you guys have any that you could share. Yeah, um, definitely. Because we have a bunch that are tried and true and also ones that we've done some research on that we will be um, short testing out this summer. Um, but uh, we'll start. Let's see. I'll do. I'll start. Okay, so if you are on, you're getting ready, you know you're going on a road trip, you know it's going to be two hours, three hours, however long, keep all of the activities easily accessible. I can't tell you how many times we're driving up to Orlando and my kids' butts are in the rearview mirror because their cards, their electronics, the book that they were reading or whatever is in the trunk and they're like trying to unsafely jump into the back of the the trunk to go and get something or a snack. So keep everything yeah. at arm's reach. Yeah, we do. We, we do. take like a tote bag and I'm not going, but we take a tote bag and I put it all in there. Mm -hmm. like each person has their own bag with all their own stuff and their own snack. Back -back. That's a really good idea to have a, a bag for each person. Sippy cup, water bottle, whatever. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, also over the seat organizers are great. Yes, love those. So you can keep um, everything at arm's reach and organized. Yes, yeah. snacks are big, lots of snacks. I have one that gets car sick around three hours. Right. All the time. And so I know. So um, lots of snacks. Okay. And there's a hack here. If you have a shower caddy, you attach suction that have its suction cups attached to them, mm -hmm. mount it onto the side window and put oh. stuff in there. If you don't have a conventional over the seat um, car organizer. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. I like that. I like that. Rip it out of the shower and put it in the car. I know we're just like randomly throwing them out there. Throw yours out there too. I love, um, I just think Ziploc bags are just the most amazing thing. So I, I take Ziplocs and I used to have an outfit for both kids in case somebody throws up because I have had that happen. I have Ziplocs for garbage. So I, I don't know what happens. It's like being at a birthday party when they, when we go like get fast food or their snacks. They're like here, here in the front seat, here's my garbage here. And I'm like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? And so we, we've, we've had it where I've shoved it into the side door, you know, pocket like thing that I you can put like an umbrella and maybe an extra cup. And then I get to the destination and there's just crap and tissues and grow. And like, I'm like, what happened? So I started bringing baggies as a Ziploc bag. And then you can't smell anything until yeah. you get to like the gas station or whatever. But poopy diapers. Oh my gosh. Um, throw up clothes. <laughs> like it, I just, it, it block, yeah. Yeah, Ziplocs for everything. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. Extra snacks, extra snacks. They always open something, and then they're like, I'm done. I don't want it all. And then you're like a half. Who who has a chip clip? I guess you should throw those in too, right? Oh, go to like Dollar Tree and grab a bunch of chip clips and like throw yeah. them in the bag. It's true because even if the bag has that like Ziploc closure, you know how like some of the snack bags come with the built-in Ziploc closure? Yeah. Um, my kids just have a tendency of ripping beneath it. And I'm like, you just killed the Ziploc closure part of it. Or they like rip it open. And I'm like, okay, yeah, now we right. know I'm keeping it fresh. Erica has three kids that get sick. They just stop. Oh, I feel bad. I have two. We just, we have to make stops. Yeah. We have, we know like right around three hours. It's funny. It's, we know, and there's two destinations. It's Captiva. Mm -hmm. which is almost three hours from my house and she got sick one time so so you know google your low uh, well i googled the closest target and i got a, somehow a jug of water a towel yeah. an outfit and a pair of underwear i don't know package but i don't remember or diaper i don't remember she was little <sighs> i know all righty next on the list bum, bum, bum. What do you got? Oh, Clorox wipes. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, if you're going for a while, just bring the whole tub with you, but, or just the, you know, they have the, they have like the little travel packets too, but mm -hmm. you're going to need them between Clorox wipes and wipes. Even if you're not going on a long road trip, it's always good to have them in the car. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm constantly wiping down things. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. Something gets sticky or they spill the chocolate milk and it's disgusting. At least oh, I feel yeah, like it's have an accident. Yeah. It, and it's always the milk. You're right. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's the worst. Oh my God. Formula. Forget it. I don't miss that at all. No, I don't miss that either. It's stinkiness. Ugh. Gross. Um, what else do we have? Let's see. Um, oh, chargers. Like, don't yeah. forget all your technological stuff. So I have those, I'm lucky, I have those mounted um, DVD players in the back of my car, mm -hmm. which is the dumbest thing that people could install because they're broke. One, ba one, one was a baby and ripped it down because it oh. cocks forward, and then the other one, it doesn't work. So now we have to use iPads. So And if, to take it out, it's like $300, and I was like, forget it. So you need all your iPads, your chargers, mm -hmm. your your cords, make sure. I just, and again, you know what I do? Throw it in the Ziploc. Okay. <laughs> and also preload your iPads with any movies that you've already purchased, maybe that you have digitally, because then if you're in an area that is not Wi-Fi friendly, you're not going to hear, oh my God, is your hotspot on? You know? Well, and there's that like patch on your way to Orlando. Yes. Oh, my God. when Rich drives and I'm like in the passenger seat, I sometimes I do work while he's driving. And I'm like, I try to get whatever I need to get done online yeah. before we get to that dead end, that dead spot. Um, another thing, too, and this sounds silly. And I looked at my dad crazy when he did this for me um, was um, a tire gauge. You're driving for a long period of time. He gave me a tire gauge. My first thing was like, what is this? And then he explained it just in case you, and now your cars tell you when you, there's low tire pressure and stuff, yeah. but just in case. Always on our trip. Yep. It freaks Weird. you out. At least you'll have an idea of, you check your tires. And also if you go into the inside of your passenger side, or actually, is it um, the back seat, the second row? If you open up the door, I don't know if it's on all doors. There's like a descriptive sticker on the door. I'll take a picture and send it to you. But it tells you what your tire pressure should be um, and a lot of information that you probably disregarded this panel of information before, but it has information that's pertinent to your car, including your tire pressure, like what it should be. Because each car, I think, has different, not each car, but Many of them have different pressure gauges and so on. So technical. Oh, but I don't know. It's I can't tell you. Every time we go on a trip, it goes off. Yeah, and then you freak out. So um, oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Playlist. <laughs> I am the DJ. It's you have to have good music. You have to have that road trip music. You need because you know what we we do you do this where the radio we do the fader so it stays in the front because the kids don't listen to it anyway. And we put on the music that we love, and we just jam out. We have a great time. We're driving along, and the kids are in their world, and we're in our world, and it it just passes time. We sing, we dance. You know, we're Andy's talk radio person. Oh, is he? Yeah. Sometimes when we get close, I'll put the jam on and then we all start freaking out because I'm trying to listen to the GPS and then everybody starts fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear the GPS. I can't hear say turn left off the slip road. Um, I'll throw out their baby wipes, hand sanitizer wipes, hand sanitizer. I can't tell you how many times we've used a bathroom. And I'm not going to lie, we've walked right out. And I was like, we'll just wash our hands when we get, like, yeah. which is gross because we're touching other things. But I was like, I'm sorry, like, when there's just yuck all over the sink and you're just like, don't touch anything. Yeah. 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 So baby wipes, hand wipes, hand sanitizer. Uh, make sure everybody's got headphones. 
Yep. You've got your head bones. Um, candy is good. So they have all kinds of healthy candy out there, but like suckers, like if you have a sick kid, like the lemon drops and stuff, mm -hmm. or even as a bribery, like you're almost there. You're like, hang on. Yeah. Here's some evidence. Or maybe I'm bribing myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm going to open these for you, but I need to make sure that they're okay. We have a, a young viewer out there. Say hi to Paige. Hi, Paige. Hi, Paige. I hope your leg is feeling better, by the way. She slipped on the stairs today. Um, so let's see. There's a whole bunch of other ones. Here's another one here, too. So you're on the road. Your GPS doesn't work. Do you bring a map with you? When was the last time you used a paper map? I don't know. I mean, like, that's a question for people out there. Like, have you? Yeah, because what if something happens and your phone breaks or something and you're like totally screwed? Mm hmm. And you're going to a place that you don't necessarily, you know. No, you're out in the, yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know how to fold them back, but I would bring a map. Like, when we were in California in the Napa area, I had a paper map. You know, it's funny. I used to, um, I remember plotting out trips with my dad. And he would ask me. I loved reading maps. They were so fun. Okay, next time we go on a trip, oh when we gosh. go to Chicago, if, and if we don't go sooner, somewhere, we're getting a paper map. <laughs> we're going to paper map it. We're going to, in our Uber, because <laughs> we're not driving. <laughs> but we'll make sure we're going in the right direction. Um, oh, another good thing to pack, it, and accessories and stuff, um, a deck of cards for the kids because they get bored after a little while and you kind of want to rest their eyes from the electronics, whether they're playing games or watching TV or something. Um, my kids actually love, they play card games like um, garbage or war, something along those lines. And it's just like a change of pace for them. Mm -hmm. I have this little card. It was so cute. I don't know where I found it. Maybe at Michael's. And you open, it's almost like bingo, car bingo, and it's got like a cow, a, a stop sign. And you, if you see it, you close the little window. So it's a huge travel card, and it's got all these fun things like to look for so that they are looking out the window. Right. And not like, mine can't play cards after a while. They're like. <laughs> I know. Well, when I was little, I remember, because we didn't have electronics back then. I used to sit there and stare out the window and just like watch the people going by and look at the different cars. And we used to play games like um, I Spy, which was kind of hard when you go across the state of Florida and there's not much to spy. But um, I'm trying to think of what is it like the the license plates? What's that license plate game? Oh yeah, I used to I sleep. I'm a sleeper. Oh, uh, so you're good. My kids, I have to stay up. Yeah, I back out of the driveway. Well, I mean, that's the kind of kid I was growing up, but mm -hmm. I back out of the driveway and I'm like, if I could. Right. But now I can't because someone's always asking for something from the back seat. It's okay. The love of being a mama. I hear you. I a play game. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like the license plate game. I don't know if it's Erica, is it that you look for different states plates or I think that's what it is. Like you feel like <laughs> I think it's that. I think it's dates. Yeah. Um. I oh, don't forget the loveys. Oh yes. Kids cannot sleep without their loveys or their blankie or their pillow. Oh my god, you should see us. We've got body pillows. We've got. I mean, it's like we have more pillows and blankets than we do luggage. It's crazy. But you want them to be comfortable in the car, so it's like yeah. one less. Because you always know that it's the ride home that's always the toughest. And if yeah. you could just get them to, like, go to sleep and be quiet. Right. That'd be great. That'd be great. But that that's hard. Be. That's hard when they're little. I remember those days. I remember, like, one of my kids couldn't see me to sleep, so I had to set up a barrier. But I had to hold the bottle. <laughs> so I have the pillow, <laughs> like, underneath. And I was like, okay, go sleep. Yeah. That never happened. But. Yeah. Where's the uh, furthest you've ever driven, Heather? Like the le like time length. Oh gosh, I drove from uh, with my parents. I didn't. Oh gosh, I drove from Stetson to Jersey. 
I drove from Deland to Jersey with this guy. I'll never forget in his Jeep and it broke in third gear. So we rode thir third gear and with the top down and we got to like Virginia and I was freezing. And I remember I, all we could find, I found a pair of his pants and I wrapped them around me like a scarf. It was the most <laughs> random trip. Yeah. It was the most random trip. I was glad I got home alive. <laughs> it was like the end of the school year. It was so weird. Oh my gosh, that's so hysterical. I can't believe I did that with him. Yeah. This guy, he was a soccer player. He was a nice guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that's the longest trip. I've never gone across country. Andy wants to get an RV. I think that would be really cool. I don't know if I would actually go through with it, but the concept is awesome. Hashtag van life. Yeah. I just found a British com a British couple on YouTube. I don't remember who they're called, but they they're van lifing it. And I want to follow because I'm just intrigued to see. And she made this full on English breakfast. And I was like, how the heck did she do that? In the van, in the RV? Yeah. It was it looked amazing with like the, you know, they eat like the beans. They eat like baked beans for breakfast and stuff. And so, um, yeah. That wouldn't cut it with the kids. No. <laughs> that'd be a good, that'd be a good. YouTube thing to do for a while is oh my god. Um, I always say to pack your patience. <laughs> yes, because you know what? Because you're gonna need it. Exactly. Because I'm like a I'm a backseat driver. Well, I'm a side seat driver. Mm -hmm. Because my husband and I swear we never drive together, and so I'm like the Uber for my family. So I'm always cruising, and I know how my car works and stuff. Poor guy. And I'm like, dude, this car is massive. You're not going to fit it in there. And he's like, I got it. And then he's like, ur, ur, ur. <laughs> like trying to get it in the spot and trying to get out. And I was like, I told you. So I'm bad. I'm, I've got to pack patience because I'm like, what are you doing? And, you know, mm -hmm. you're driving on 95 like it's 1985. <laughs> nobody moves over anymore and nobody merges on. It's survival of the fittest. Just go, go, go. <laughs> And, with your truck. and he's over here like, why isn't he moving? We're in the fast lane. And I'm like, because nobody follows the rules anymore. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. Do you get the left lane is for passing? Don't people understand this? Yes. I get that all the time with Rich. And he's like, I don't understand. And then he rides their butt. And I'm like, yep. if they stop short, yep. I'm going to be in their back seat. It's like male road rage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't take I know. I hear you. RV nowadays, you can live forever. It's true. Or or what about the tiny houses? That's road tripping for days, for years. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? That would be fun, I guess. I need space. I know. I guess I would just go park it at the beach, and then there's my space. No, I need indoor space. <laughs> I need indoor space. <laughs> I don't really have that much, but I need some. I agree. I agree. So we've touched upon a bunch of really good, I feel, road trip tips. Um, we are so open to other ideas because even if it's a two-hour trip, it's still in the car for in a small, confined space for a yeah. short period of time, for a longer period of time than normal. And, you know. I think you should pack a bottle of wine and a corkscrew, too. Yeah, but then if you get pulled over... And you can't have open it. No, what? when you get to your destination. Oh, that's a given. Come on. We got how many um how many times have we gone and we're like, I'm like, I brought three bottles of wine. You're like, I brought two. We're like <laughs> Uh oh, you just froze. Oh, that's so weird. You're like freezing and then it like speeds up. Am I okay now? Yeah, remember Max Headroom? Was that why I just looked like Max Headroom? Yeah, it was kinda like glitchy. Ooh. Ooh, all right. Yes. Leave your hacks, man. We need our hat. We need to know. Mm -hmm. oh, definitely. Definitely. The wine bottle opener. That was a really good point, though, because yeah. how many times do you go somewhere and you bring your own wine and then you're like, S word. I left the opener. Yes. I mean, a lot of stuff is twist top now. Thank goodness. But yeah. Butternut rosé is twist top. I know. Hold on. I'm going to sneeze. OK. Ew. Bless you. You're sneezing on the truth. Did you ever hear that? No. Yes. Oh, she said like, in the car. Tired. <laughs> it's like tire gauge, wine bottle opener. Yes. 
I love it. I do too. <laughs> All right, All we're right. coming up to the 25 mark. So um, we have a lot going on. Yes. We have a show this Friday. Yes. Um, so we will see you at our normal time. We're trying to get back into the scheduled swing of things now that spring break has broken and we're like back into uh we'll be here for the next six weeks yeah so we're gonna stick to fridays except for of course there's always oh no we're gonna do it the next day too but we have the um the junior league bartender we're gonna be celebrity bartenders we might go live for a few minutes just to say hi that thursday so stay tuned for that but anyone that would like to sponsor us it is a competition. All the money goes to charity. We would love for you to sponsor us. Please leave a comment in the comments below. Um, and then um, we'll get back to you. Friday will be live at 12. We're going to try to stick to Fridays at 12. Um, after having a consult with Erica today over the water park, we I asked her and she said, lunchtime's pretty good between 12 and 2. So if you guys have any other times that you feel might right. be better or days, give us a a shout out. Fridays seem to be our best days. It's just the time yeah. we want to make sure. Our insights. And then we're going to try to go live on Instagram too. Yeah. We're really working on getting both platforms because we find that a lot of people are not on, you know, they're not on both. Right. And everybody's really loving Instagram right now. So, um, crazy. It is super crazy. But we can get a wider shot with Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're, we're, uh, we're Sadie is on the guest bedroom and she just dropped something. Sorry, that scared me. You okay, Sadie? She's my cope. Wait, let me sit for Bye, Sadie. Oh my God. <laughs> she's like, she's like, was it me? Am I live? Am I live? Did I drop something? <laughs> she's all mad at me. Oh my God, there I left my breath of my body. Sorry, guys. Um, so we have that going on. We have the celebrity bartenders. What else do we have going on? April 26th. And I feel like there's more. I don't know why. Well, next Sunday, we're going to delve a little bit more into travel, but more fun. Yeah. Not that road trip's not fun. No, but I think it's good to help each other out with some ideas because it's kind of like, it's, hey, come hang with us. And then you get all these moms talking at once instead of, you know, mm -hmm. about a topic. That's what it's about. So the juggle is real. That's our series. Um, that's why we do these Sunday nights so you guys can, you know, we talk about other topics other than brands and where we are. But, you know, we still we're trying to, you know, we know what we want to do, but we want to make sure we're doing what you guys want us to do. Exactly. So if you want to see more locations, Mother's Day is coming up. Um, you know, is that really important to you or is Father's Day more important and trying to get your husband gifts? Because I know that it's hard for me to shop for my husband. So anytime, just please give us great feedback. We love hearing from our followers and friends. Exactly. Oh, and one more thing. We have to announce the winner. So last yeah. Friday, last Friday, two days ago, we, yeah. we were at the Delray Marriott at the end spa. And we spoke with Kim and Christopher. Kim's the spa director. And Christopher is the representative from Circadia. Have you started using the products? No. Obsessed, it's on my dad. Obsessed with the honey um, cleanser and the facial SPF. Oh, I got to use my cleanser. He gave me the lipid replacing cleansing gel. Oh, nice. I got to replace these lipids. And then uh, <laughs> light day serum. Oh, yeah, because of this on the side. Oh. A lot of stuff. Uh, aloe and calendula calming. Oh, my calming to calm. I need the calm. Remember the calm? Yes. I want to calm my skin down because it's so sensitive and synchromo calm. So I'm doing lots of calms. So anyways, yes. Yeah, so I'm excited. So we want to call our winner. Yes. So thank you to everyone that asked great questions. Christopher is going to get back to you ASAP. We were communicating with him um, today and you guys had some great questions. So what we did was we put all of the names. What? Keep going. Sorry. I heard a child. Like, okay. Hello. Um, so we put all of the names into a randomizer, and the winner is Karen Watinsky Schiller. Ah! So Karen, you are the winner of a ninety-minute s'mores facial 
That sounds delicious. From what I understand, it's like head to toe because they do stuff to your hands and your feet and like. Yeah. It's got marshmallow thing on your hands. From from Farmhouse Fresh. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's going to so, be amazing. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we need to make appointments next to her. Yes, definitely. All right, cool. So you are the winner. So we awesome. will contact you and tell you how to get your prize. Yes. I'm going to spell her name wrong. I know it. I will. Um, I'll message her. <laughs> But thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in this coming Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we'll send out an announcement in the middle of the week. Thank you all to, who participated in our giveaway. It was a very thank popular one. Yeah, wow, it was a good one. I think spas mm -hmm. are a hit. So. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. So the spa director gave us these special oh, yeah. certificates for you guys. Okay, I'm going to post them on SoFlo Moms on the Go's website. Up, uh, I'm sorry, Facebook page now. They are $10, $25, and $50 gift certificates. They're based on the price of the spa um, thing that you, you decide to pick. So $10 off of $50, I believe. And you'll see the denominations below. But right. so definitely print these up, use them. Say that you heard about NSPA from SoFlo Moms. Here's our Mother's Day gift to you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and then and then tell us how it goes, because the spa is beautiful. Oh my God, it was so nice. You could go to our Insta story and still see some pictures. I think they're still up. I keep posting random ones, I love yeah. them. And then we'll be doing a recap of a bunch of photos this week we go. Exactly, so. You gotta follow us on Blue Moms on the Go on Facebook and then on Instagram. Yes, for sure. All right. All right, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. There's a few hours left. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't even started raining yet. What happened? All right. Oh, not, it was pouring here just before. It's fine. Okay. Bye. We will see you on Friday. Bye-bye. Follow us all week long on Facebook and Instagram. Bye.